Hi, this is Tim from Tiger Astronomy and I just wanted to make a quick video about how I prepare the glass bread bed for my 3D printer because I haven't seen anyone else doing it this way so I thought this might be interesting. So basically I'm using PVA glue stick, this is Prit which is a brand available in the UK and uh, you'll need a piece of kitchen tissue. Here's my Creality glass bed. This is the coated side and this is pretty much worn out, I don't use this anymore. It was good for a couple of weeks, but I just flip it over and use the plain glass side. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just wash this down with a bit of hot water. Now I'm just right next to the sink in the kitchen, so I'm doing this off camera, but I'm just using hot water and dish soap, and PVA is water soluble, so it just cleans right off, okay? And then I give that a good rinse in hot water, and I put the thing down wet, okay? So this is still soaking wet. And then I take my glue stick. So this is warm and wet. Take my glue stick, wind it out a little bit, and then just whack it on like this into the warm hot water, both directions. Okay, and hopefully you can see there's a good old film on there, but it's quite lumpy and it would be pretty unpleasant to print on. So now I'm taking a sheet of tissue paper, fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half, and then I'm gonna use that as a swab, and I will just wipe like this, gently, and this will smooth out the glue and take off the excess water. Okay, and then I'll go maybe the other direction if there's any lumps, okay. And by the time you're done with that, so most of the water's on there now, and uh, it's hard to see, but you can hopefully see there's a very fine coating of glue on that. And by the time that dries, it will be lovely and smooth, almost as good as the glass sheet itself. And yet there's enough there to release uh, PETG, for example, which as we know can bond to glass. And there's also a good adhesion for PLA. So that's how I do it and it works well for me. See what you think.